The Viking Twin Otter Series 400 is at home in more places and in more ways than any other aircraft. As a 19-passenger commuter, search and rescue, cargo-carrying workhorse, or even as an executive transport, the Series 400 fills all roles at low cost, from paved runways, water, ice, or even mud. Extremely reliable and very easy to maintain, the world's leading utility aircraft, Viking Twin Otter Series 400. Versatility that works. The Twin Otter has uh, three fixed landing gear assemblies. It has two main landing gear and a nose landing gear assembly. The nose landing gear is a nose landing gear shock strut assembly, which is located here in the avionics bay between the two avionics compartment shelves. It is a pneumatic hydraulic oleo assembly. It has MIL 5606 fluid installed in the shock strut as well as nitrogen. We can service the nose oleo shock strut through the Schrader valve assembly by taking the valve out. The nose gear shock strut assembly also has a hydraulic uh, nose landing gear steering assembly. The steering assembly input is controlled by these cables here and the pilot has a nose landing gear steering tiller bar located on the left hand side of the control yoke. The nose landing gear assembly on the Twin Otter is um, one of the unique features of the airplane. It is extremely robust. This allows the airplane to operate from rough fields and rough landing strips. This is the hydraulic pneumatically actuated nose gear shock strut assembly. This shock strut assembly is mounted at station 60 in the fuselage. We have the nose gear tire here. It's a tube type tire. It's an 8.90 by 12.50 six ply rating on the tire. Anytime you go to service the nose gear, easy to service the nose gear, there is a jack adapter on the fuselage here. And then monitor the back of the airplane while you're jacking up the nose gear. One of the unique features of the airplane is that it's easy to access and easy to um, maintain in the field. Stories of people putting the airplane up on barrels to support the airplane and service the nose gear in the Arctic. New features on the airplane that have come with the 400 series is a uh, LED taxi light assembly. This LED taxi light is uh, more robust and durable than the old taxi light. The service life is probably two or three times longer than the original. The nose gear assembly is uh, standard nose gear pit pin, disconnect the steering linkage, hook the tow bar up to the mule, release the brakes and away you go. Again, simple to maintain, simple to service. The landing gear on the Twin Otter is a fixed landing gear, non-retractable, and it is basically a axle stub shaft mounted on this uh, main landing gear leg which goes up to a Y and the Y is where the rebound and compression blocks are that attach to the fuselage. These rebound and compression blocks are what the main landing gear uses for shock absorption. The tire is an 11 by 12 10 ply tire tubeless with a Cleveland brake caliper assembly mounted on the inside. It is a four piston caliper assembly with eight brake pads. This uh, wheel caliper assembly is easily serviced in the field. It allows you to easily inspect the caliper and the disc as well as the pads. It also allows you easy access to the pads for uh, replacing them if you need to replace them in the field.